the Scotch Guard that Rudy's. I heard that some rich guy a few years back bought the remaining pieces of an ancient European castle. This must be the place. As I approach the coordinates given in the shredded note from GRS, I see a massive structure jutting out from a deeply forested area. The bastion looks like a medieval castle, but there's nothing romantic about this place. It seems to lay there, a festering evil, like a paper cut gone bad. From here I can get a good look at the community. He's pacing around, smoking like a brush fire and talking to himself. I don't know what he's smoking, but he looks higher than an infield fly. I've got to distract him somehow and get him out of the room. Then I'll figure out a way to get him out of here for good. Elaine and a laser field. The effect of the beam is probably keeping her sedated. With a chameleon out of the way, I can find out how to shut it off. I almost bought some chairs just like Looks like a perfectly harmless bungee cord. It's probably used by the cult as some kind of diabolical torture device. Well, any cult that worships sea monkeys can't be all bad. This door appears to be sealed shut. I guess I'll need to look somewhere else. Well, I'll be darned. That's Uncle Morty, and he was not a handsome man. This gemstone's small, but it's very dense and heavy. That's an odd place for a vase. I wonder if I could use it as a distraction. Well, that's not gonna work. Two antique knights. I'll bet Rook wouldn't mind capturing these.
These weapons would be really useful if someone hadn't bolted them to the wall. Two antique knights. I don't want to know what the chameleon uses this V-clamp for. Your average run-of-the-mill coat of arms. Okay, so it's not the best looking weapon ever created. I just hope it works. All I need now is some ammo. Okay, so it's not... setting a cigarette in the ashtray. Okay, the cigarette's in place. Now if you'll just go for it. Yeah, here he comes. Come on. Come on over to the table for some real smoking enjoyment. He's got it. That's it. Smoke away, sucker. Gotcha. Didn't anyone ever tell you, these things can kill you? I underestimated you, Murphy. <clears throat> Viral powder in my cigarette. Very clever. <clears throat> You're a worthy opponent. Well, you know, I think the world would be a much nicer place without people like you. People who go around stuffing other people's heads into water coolers. But you've accomplished nothing. <clears throat> Except now, I'll be a martyr in the new order. And you'll die with all the other vermin in the great Luvia. And when the earth has returned to a state of perfection, and the purified races return after the waiting. My name will live forever. Yeah, I guess that's good in theory. Too bad you won't be around to enjoy it. Death means nothing. I would die a thousand times to help fulfill the sacred prophecy. Enjoy your victory while you can, Murphy. <clears throat> Tomorrow night, <clears throat> you will die. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh! <laughs>
I caught a lucky break getting rid of the chameleon this easy. Death is always an ugly business, but if anyone deserved it, he did. Now I've got to get Elena out of the force field. Mmm, bread, milk, taco sauce. Damn! I know I'm forgetting something. Great columns. This is Peter loaning Paul his Sergeant Pepper's album. That roaring fire makes me wish I'd brought fixins for some oars. I won't be needing this ashtray. This whole incident has almost convinced me to stop smoking. Chameleon has Elena in a laser field. The effect of the beam is probably keeping her sedated. With the chameleon out of the way, I can find out how to shut it off. Looking at this painting reminds me of the time that girl told me I had Roman hands. like you. So I opened the door. He must have knocked me out. It was terrible, the things he said to me. Oh, Tex, hold me. Kiss me. Listen, Elena, I'd love to kiss you, but I just had a big chili dog with uh, <clears throat> extra onions. Besides, every time I look at you, I can't help but think of your sister, and that gives me a stomach ache. Tex, I... I think I'm in love with you. Look, I'm sorry, but I've been burned a few too many times. And your sister was a real flamethrower. Are you sure there's nothing I can do to make you stay? Hmm... Do you play Twisty? Ah, never mind. I guess I should have told you about my, well, my vow of chastity. But right now, I got a job to do, and I've got to do it alone. Unless I stop the cult from executing their plan, we're all going to be toast. Men worth having are always running off. Maybe it wouldn't work out for us anyway. If they don't kill you, let me buy you a drink. I owe you a big one. Look, Elena, you don't owe me a thing. But maybe you could help me, because what I really need right now is a good lead. The Chameleon said that he was supposed to meet up with someone named Feral Puss at a place called the Broken Skull. Does that help? Yeah, it does, as a matter of fact. He summoned to his presence a thousand hale and light-hearted friends to the deep seclusion of one of his castellated abbeys. This was an extensive and magnificent structure the creation of the prince's own eccentric yet august taste. A strong and lofty wall girdled it in. Without was the Red Death. Is that the final group? Yes, brother. Everyone has arrived. And all the provisions are stored. What about the wine? We hadn't received the shipment when I last checked the inventory. All is in order, brother. We have sufficient supplies to take us into the next century. Excellent. I will notify the master that everything is prepared. The celebration is set to begin at the appointed hour. The way station is small, with a diameter of maybe 5,000 meters. 
I have no problem finding a broken skull, which turns out to be a typical off-world saloon. The kind of place where all the booze is watered down, the prices are triple, and the waitresses all have fresh stitches on their foreheads. It's strangely quiet, though, and the dame behind the bar looks like she just as soon cut my throat as pour me a drink. So what do you have? Give me four fingers of rye whiskey. Neat. You know, we don't take American Express. Cash customers only. Thought the place looked familiar. I must have seen it in a Visa commercial. Ah, very amusing. What brought you here? I am a seeker of purity, who will abide no defect in spirit or form. Yeah, whatever. Do you want a drink? You know, we don't take American Express. Cash customers only. You take uh, out-of-state cash? We'll take any cash with the Made in the USA logo on it. That's not mince words. I'll give you a C-note for some information. Put your money where your mouth is, Rockefeller. Okay, money bags. One question. What do you know about Ava Shanzi, Paul Dubois, and Camden Leander? They were here about a month ago. I don't know where they went. There's your answer. Now I'm gonna have Bluto escort you out. We don't need nosy types around here. <laughs> hey, Bluto! I shouldn't have to remind you, Murphy. Never underestimate a woman with an attitude. Okay, the cigarette's in place. I caught a lucky break getting rid of the... Listen, Elena. Besides, every time... Look, I'm not your type, sweetie. Just ask your sister. Are you sure there's nothing I can do to make you stay? Hmm. Look, don't get me wrong, Elena. I think you're as, as cute as a button. But right now, I got a job to do, and I've got to do it alone. Unless I stop the cult from executing their plan, we're all gonna be toast. Men worth having are always running off. Maybe it wouldn't work out. Okay. Well, maybe someday you can buy me one of those 46 ounce super gulpers. What I really need right now is a good lead. The chameleon said that he was supposed to meet up with someone named Feral Puss at a place called the Broken Skull. Does that he summoned to his presence The way station is small, with a diameter of maybe 5,000 meters. I have no problem finding a broken skull. So what do you have? So, what do you got there, sweetheart? 
Call me sweetheart again and I'll tear your throat out. Now what do you want? Jeez, I'm sorry. Now I know why they call the place the Broken Skull. Even the friendlies are unfriendly. Mind your manners and I won't introduce you to Bluto. He's the reason why we call this the Broken Skull. So what do you have? Give me four fingers of rye whiskey. Neat. You know, we don't take American Express. Cash customers only. Thought the place looked for me. Ah, very amusing. What brought you here? I am a seeker of purity, who will abide no defect in spirit or form. Yeah, whatever. Do you want a drink? You know, we don't take him. Thought the place looked familiar. Ah. Looking for some friends of mine who came here a while ago. A lot of people come and go here. I got a hundred dollar bill that's all dirty and crumpled. Did you toss it in the trash for me? Put your money where your mouth is, Rockefeller. Okay, money bags. One question. Can you help me find a ride to the moon child? Do you have the token? Maybe. Give me a hint on the type of token you're looking for. Wrong answer, friend. I'm afraid that your visit here is gonna be permanent. I shouldn't have to remind you, Murphy. Never underestimate a woman with an attitude. So, what do you got? Call me sweetheart. Listen, sister. You threaten me again, I'll knock your lights out. I don't care if you are a girl. Hey, Bluto! I shouldn't have to remind... So, what do you- Call me sweet- Jeez, I'm sorry. Mind your manner. So, what do you have? I got a hundred dollar bill right here says you like to talk to strangers. Are you a cop? No, I'm no stinking cop. I am a seeker of purity. Yeah, what? You know, we don't take him. Thought the place. Uh. Looking for some friends of mine who came here a while. A lot of people. I got a hundred dollar bill, it's all. Put your money where you. Okay, money bags. One question. I'm here to meet someone. The chameleon sent me. Do you have the token? I don't need to give you a token. The chameleon sent me. I don't care who sent you. Without the token, you're no better than a mutant. And the only good mutant is a dead one. I shouldn't have to remind you. So, what do you- Call me s- You take, uh, out a- We'll take any- I got a- Put your money where you Okay, money. Can you help me find a ride? Do you have the token? Let me check. No, I... Must be in my other overcoat. Look, 
I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I mean, maybe you're one of us and maybe you're just an idiot. Go find your token. If you come back here without it, don't plan on leaving. Talk to me, Hans. Wish I could help you there, Tex. So Hiya, Murphy! I haven't got any. I can't help you. I haven't got any. Do you have facts, Michelle? Sure do. In fact, I try not to stare. What can I do? What can I do? Sorry. Can't help. Did you forget some? Sorry. The chameleon said something about using an old silver dollar as a token. I don't know where you could find one. They're so rare. What else can I help you with, Murphy? I don't know it. I don't know it. Yeah, I've got a couple of old Susan B. Anthony silver dollars in my coin collection. They're pretty expensive. I guess I do owe you something. <laughs> 